Hey everyone, Javert Valbar here for InscapeDigital.com. Today I'm going to be bringing your attention to one of the lesser known features that was added in the new HitFilm Pro. For years, people have been asking for an easier way to add text in HitFilm, without having to create a composite shot and make a new layer for each title. This is now possible with the new text effect, so let's take a look at how that works. This feature is currently only available in HitFilm Pro version 6. Here I am in HitFilm on the editor timeline. I'll be using an older HitFilm Express video called Heads Up, and I want to add subtitles to it. Now it's as simple as adding the text effect directly onto your video. You can search for it in the effects panel, or find it in the generate folder. It'll appear in the center of your screen. I'll just use the crosshairs to drag it into the letterbox down here. In the transform dropdown, make sure the X position is at zero. The important thing with this effect is that you can keyframe the text. Click on this A icon to edit the text. If I clear it and hit OK, nothing will show on screen. Let's activate keyframes for this property and play the video until Kirsty says the first line, which is pretty much right away. I've gone ahead and paused it. Let's open up the edit field again and type the text. Click OK and skip one frame forward. You can see down here that the text has appeared. Let's play it forward again until the next line. Once again, open up this field and type the new sentence. I'll just go ahead and repeat this process for the next few lines. Engage heads up display. Check. You can view the keyframes for this effect by highlighting the text property and clicking this new display timeline icon. This will open up a field that we're used to seeing in composite shots. But here are the keyframes. I can adjust them so that they come in at the correct time. I can add another keyframe at any point just by changing the text. And there we go, it's that simple. You do, of course, have control over the way the text looks in the format dropdown. Here at HitFilm, we use the Lato font for almost everything. I'll go ahead and select that. I could make it bold or italicized, and if there's more than one line, I can change the alignment. You can change the color, opacity, font size, and pretty much anything you need to get it to look the way you want. Enabling word wrap will constrain the text to the edges of the layer if you make it bigger. You have the option to change the blend mode, and if you keyframe any of the position or rotation properties, you can adjust the motion blur here. But that was a quick overview of the effect. It's pretty easy to use. If you do have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.